guys, what's going on? This is Travis P11, and today we're going to bring you something kind of fun. Uh, but first things first, got to give a shout out to SS Pawn uh, in Lexington, Nebraska. Stan, he's a great guy. Guys, give him a call for all of your firearms needs. Um, the guns you're going to see in my collection, many of them were bought from Stan, or Stan ordered them for me uh, using his FFL. And uh, yeah, so give him a holler if you're looking uh, for any kind of firearms, and they will definitely take care of you. So that's SS Pawn. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Why do we have an AR-15 sitting on the dining room table again? Well, today, guys, I'm going to share with you uh, six firearms that I recommend that you seriously consider purchasing with those holiday gift cards. So if you've got 50 or 100 bucks from Cabela's or Shields or Academy Sports or Dick Sports sitting around or maybe ClassicFirearms.com or maybe just a bunch of Visa gift cards and you don't know what to spend them on, this might take a little bit of a dent out of those purchases. Also, the guns that you're going to see here are, are all available technically uh, for four, four, uh, $4.99 or below. Some of them are even half that price. So without further ado, let's go and get started. So what we have here, guys, is the uh, Bear Creek Arsenal AR-15. I featured this in many videos. Um, you can purchase these from uh, ClassicFirearms.com. They're selling the standard flat top uh, M4 style that you see here for only $499. Uh, shipping is about $25, and I think I paid uh, $525 delivered for this gun. But again, $499 is a base price. If you have any uh, other AR parts just sitting around, you can drop a dot sight on there or put, uh, put a flip-up iron sight, and you're good to go. This one's just slightly modified from stock. I've had great luck with this firearm. I've run over 500 rounds through it. I've not had a misfire, a light primer strike, nothing. Um, I've only run about 150 rounds of 5.56 through it, and the other 350 rounds has been steel case Tula. It just chews it up. Now, granted, I give the gun a great cleaning every time I'm done with it, and I've had no problems so far. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to firearm number two. Sorry guys, I got these sitting on my kitchen counter. I want to be able to safely set them so they don't uh, go flopping anywhere. All right, firearm number two. I don't even know if I can get that in the frame. What we have here is essentially the AMD 63. This is uh, more specifically the James River Armory Edition AMD 63. Uh, what James River Armory does is they give you a, a quad rail on the front. I'm assuming it's a UTG, a, a Phoenix Technology um, grip. And then you also get the standard uh, Phoenix Technology uh, AMD 63 uh, stock okay, that they give you for the American version. Um, I have taken off the regular uh, muzzle brake on this one and I put a standard uh, Tapco slant brake on it. Guys, you can get an AMD 63 for $499. I mean, that is just awesome. Um, this James River Armory Edition did run me $650. Now, at the time, the AMD 63s were $550, so I saw it as a $100 premium to get a quality aluminum quad rail and a really good grip with the work already done. Out of the box, this thing was ready to go. I did add a uh, fake Magpul MOE grip on the front there that I bought off eBay. It didn't say MOE in the advertisements, but when I bought it, it's marked MOE, but it's not a real Magpul. But anyway, it does add a little bit of stability to it when you use it. I do normally run a, a Bushnell red dot sight on this one, uh, or it's an imitation uh, Bushnell red dot sight. But anyway, that one's been sent off to another uh, gun channel's uh, uh, personality, and that person's going to do some torture testing on it for me. And so there you go, the uh, AMD 63 or AMD 65, and this again is the James River Armory Edition uh, JRAC 47. Oh, by the way, you're probably wondering why do I have magazines in the guns? Um, many of the guns that you're going to see here are in fact kept for home defense. And uh, it's not going to do me any good to have an empty uh, uh, chamber if I need to defend myself in my home. Uh, one of the most important things you need to remember about home safety and firearms, guys, is uh, it's, it's, it's simple. Keep your finger off the trigger until you're ready to use it. And with that in mind, let's go ahead and move on. All right, firearm number three. While I strongly recommend you pick yourself up a Maverick 88 if you can get one, if you happen to find yourself at your local Walmart and you've got about 175 bucks sitting around, you can pick up one of these. This is the H&R Partner Pump, which is actually made in China by, I believe, Hawk Industries. There's a few companies that make variants of this particular shotgun. Now, this one will accept accessories from a Mossberg or a Remington. I can't remember the model exactly. I always forget when I put this gun in the videos. Um, guys, this thing is a tank, man. Chinese made or not, it is solid, it is sturdy, it, it weighs a lot. Um, you feel hardly no recoil at all when you fire it. 
All you have is, uh, what do you call it, improved cylinder or just basically a, a standard bore. It's not tapped for choke tubes. I've actually shot ski with this thing and I've hit skied out to like 30 or 40 yards, 50 yards, no problems at all. Um, I do have a, a little extra sling on the back with some double lot buck that I keep for home security and it's got a few, uh, four or five rounds in the magazine tube. You can pull out the little stopper on the end. There's a video on it that shows you this and you can add an extra round to it so it'll go five plus one instead of four plus one if I'm not mistaken. I don't know, I did it a while ago. But anyway, consider an h and Partner Pump. Mine has been solid. I've had no problems with it at all. It does come with a warranty when you get it. Uh, the only real con to this particular firearm is the finish. The finish is not the best. It's really thin. This would be a perfect uh, candidate for maybe a Cerakote job. Uh, something to consider if you go that route. Okay, so that puts us at firearm number three. All right, so let's move into something a little bit smaller, something a little more budget oriented. Another gun that I purchased at uh, Walmart, this is your Savage Mark II F 22 LR uh, rifle. And what really drew me to this rifle when I saw it sitting on the, uh, the gun rack at Walmart was the fact that it was like $148. Uh, it only comes with one magazine, and it's kind of funny to actually refer to it as a clip on the uh, enclosed literature uh, with the firearm. Um, it does not include uh, your mounting rails for your scope or your optics or rings. Um, it was a pain finding mounting rails for this gun, which means if you're gonna buy one, try to get one that have the optics already on it. Savage does sell a version of this with the optics on it. Uh, this one does not have their, their AccuFire trigger. This is a slightly older model, but I only bought this about, oh, less than two years ago. Um, what else was I going to say about it? it? It's great. This is a great budget firearm because with a couple of bricks of 22 LR, you can plink with this thing all day at the range and spend very, very little money at all. It is way more accurate than I am. Uh, the scope on the top is a bit of overkill, but I have to admit, it's nice to just crank up the scope on this thing and be able to see the bullseye, <laughs> you know, at 100 yards with no issues whatsoever. This would make kind of a fun uh, little varmint gun, maybe a rabbit gun, squirrel gun, and so on. Uh, consider picking up one of these guys, Savage Mark II F, and they've got 100 variants of this particular gun that you can get. Uh, magazines are a little pricey. They run, I want to say around 20 bucks if you get them at your local sporting goods store, maybe $15.99 if you look around online. So other than having a hard time trying to source the correct uh, rails for it for the scope, um, it's been an absolutely awesome firearm. Easy to disassemble, easy to clean. Um, firing pin mechanism is, is fairly easy to take apart. Be careful when you take apart the bolt carrier group, I guess if you can call it that, or the firing, the firing pin carrying group, um, as it can be just a little confusing when you put it back together. But there's plenty of videos online that'll do it for you. So again, $150, you really can't go wrong. Okay, so that puts us at firearm number four. All right, moving on to firearm number five. If you haven't bought one yet, it's not that you're running out of time, it's just that you're running out of the ability to get one of these at a good price, okay? This is my uh, 1935 Mosin Nagant. Uh, this is a 762 by 54R rifle. Um, I bought this one from uh, Cabela's for $129.99. It is a hex top receiver. The stock is in fantastic shape. It is not counterboard. I don't even like to shoot it. I, mean, I love to shoot it. I just don't like to shoot it because I don't like to put the wear and tear on it. Um, the finish is in pretty good shape. There's a few parts that have been touched up. It does have some Molot markings on the top when you take off the top barrel cover. If you don't have a Mosin Nagant, you're quickly running out of time to pick one up for a good price because right now, I want to say Classic Farms can get you into one of these for around 250 bucks, uh, somewhere around there. Uh, I, you know, if you go for hand select and you go for certain vintages and certain uh, variants, you can you might be spending 279. Your carbine versions are going for even higher than that right now. So, do consider picking one up if you don't have one. Uh, you know, you can use this for hunting if you want to. You can use it for deer hunting if your state allows firearm or rifle. Uh, hunting. Um, I mean, I can hit a 12 inch gong at over 150 yards, 200 yards with no problems. I mean, uh, accuracy wise, I've taken it out to 100 yards and I've, I've shot a fairly decent group. I'd say it was a solid four to five inches, which remember, this is a minute of man rifle. This was not made for precision shooting. This was made for dropping Nazis, right? Well, I mean, it was made way before then, but you get the point, right? So consider picking up a Mosin Nagant if you don't have one. Uh, you can get parts for them easily. Um, they do have a, a good resale value to them now. And uh, this one did come with the numbers matching uh, bayonet and all the parts on it do match and the butt stock plate and so on match and they have no problems whatsoever. So get yourself a Mosin Nagant if you don't have one. Heck, buy a couple of them and you can have one. Again, it does make a solid hunting rifle. 
Now, you know, don't get me wrong, you can get yourself a nice modern new hunting rifle for about $100 more than a Mosin Nagant. Um, but again, if your if budget is truly where it's at and you want to stretch that uh, gift card dollar as much as possible, um, that's what you need to do. So, uh, let's go ahead and bring in a pistol. All right, so uh, pistol wise, if you don't have a pistol or you want to just spend a couple hundred bucks on a pistol, this is one of those guns where there people that hate Taurus, they hate Taurus. You're not going to change their mind. They cannot stand Taurus. You know what, guys? I've had this one for a while now. This is actually the third version of this that I've owned. This is your PT-111 Millennium G2. I've done several videos on this gun. And I paid 260 or 250 bucks for this version because it was the flat dark, flat dark earth variant. Right? You can get these in all black from SS Pond for around 240 bucks. Uh, some places, if you're willing to travel, you can find them a little bit cheaper. Um, but again, it's one of those things where you don't have to spend a lot of money on a nice self-defense pistol. The, the, the previous one that I owned, I put hundreds and hundreds of rounds through it before I finally sold it. And the only reason why I sold it is because I wanted to buy an FN9C, which I ended up not liking and selling and buying this instead. I went back to this because it's just a good overall gun. You can get a nice purchase on it. You've got two 12 round magazines. You have a lifetime warranty on it. Uh, yeah, it has a long trigger pull, probably longer than you'd want, but it does, you do know when it's gonna break. And uh, it's got decent sights on the top. There are some aftermarket True Glows you can have installed on it or attempt to install yourself. Yes, it has mechanical safety, which makes this more of my uh, range gun and not my daily carry. But there is absolutely nothing wrong with this gun. So if there's people that are Taurus haters, give them one of these just to tick them off and tell them to put a couple hundred rounds through it and tell you that, uh, that there's still problems with them, right? Okay, moving on. Uh, another honorable mention, two honorable mention guns. We've got the Sky CPX2. You can pick these up for $200, $230. It's got a nice aluminum slide and a Zytel frame. This is uh, 12 plus one. It does have a heavy trigger pull, so it does take some getting used to. Um, but after me, I put a couple hundred rounds through this one. This one's been my daily carry for a couple of years now. And uh, it's been solid. It's been a solid performer. Um, I did have the frame pins walk themselves out within the first 100 rounds. But a lot of people have said in forms that I've been checking out that they're currently using larger frame pins or they have frame pins that don't walk themselves out. So I think Sky finally got that one figured out. They rush shipped me frame pins in like two days when I called them up complaining. And uh, they definitely took care of me. You get a lifetime warranty on this one. I believe it's also covered. I believe you get a replacement gun if this is confiscated in a self-defense shooting. Sky will send you a replacement firearm because they know that it can take time for you to get your firearm back. So it's got a really cool warranty. They used to cover it against theft, but people were taking advantage of that and doing very bad things with that free replacement policy so they don't do it anymore. You also get a uh, flat um, base plate uh, grip that you can use too. Okay, so there's that, the Sky CPX2. And last but not least for honorable mention, and the only reason why I put the Taurus over these previous, these two guns you're about to see, or these two guns you've just seen, is because of the price point. The Taurus is much cheaper. Uh, the car, CT9, I absolutely love this gun. Um, this thing is great to carry. One of the reasons why it makes a wonderful concealed carry gun is because you have a slide that is .99 inches thick. And even though this, this firearm loaded weighs about three ounces more than my CPX2, uh, it's, it's, it's just, it's the, the thinness, you notice it in your waistline when you're packing it. I mean, it, it's easier to conceal. You don't really feel it. It doesn't bulge out. Um, you only have an A plus one capacity. I did buy a second magazine. So, you know, every gun I'm talking about here has its own pros and cons, but do consider picking up one of these. If you want a nice, well-machined, well-manufactured pistol, uh, I paid around 330 bucks for it. That's pretty much par for the course, what you're going to find these for. So. There you go, guys. All right, so we just gave you six awesome firearms, two recommendations, guns that you should purchase uh, to blow those gift cards on if you don't have any plans. Bring the tree in here. Let's bring the Christmas tree in there. There you go, guys. All right, so anyway, this is Travis P11. I want to thank you guys for joining me today. Um, I hope you're enjoying the videos. I'll be bringing you a slight teardown and cleaning video of the Marlin 336 pretty soon. I want to take that one out to the range. Uh, weather pending, of course. And uh, again, I've just posted a few videos recently, so I hope you guys like the channel. Please like or subscribe. Uh, please leave comments. I love to reply to your comments. Uh, I try to reply as quickly as I can, when I can, when I'm not at work. Um, but otherwise, thanks for watching the channel. You can check me out on Twitter and Instagram. And uh, if you got nothing going on this holiday season, feel free to just binge watch uh, Travis P11, uh, the series. That's my channel on YouTube. 
Uh, I've got over 100 videos now that just cover a little bit of everything. You never know what I'm going to talk about. And so there you go, guys. All right, thanks for watching. Have fun. Be safe. Have a great holiday. I'll keep putting out videos for you, and I promise that I will talk to you soon. All right, goodbye.